<laughs> yes. Can everybody hear me all right? I'm boiling. And are my lips in sync or do I look like a Japanese subtitled film? Because I'm back on my old camera. Is it all right, Jason? Because I'm back on the old the webcam that's attached, you know, the one that's inside the laptop. Oh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> God, I'm so warm. And I can't I dare open my front door because it's literally there. So the whole street's gonna be watching and hearing me. Anyway, I'll crack on because I've got a lot to get through. Hi, Sam. Hope everybody's okay. And I've just realised I was talking to my friend Sarah and saying, basically, what I've started doing now on a Monday around this time is getting all the stuff out that I've piled up behind the sofa that I've bought all week. So basically, every Monday, I think I'm going to show you everything that I've bought for the most of the week, unless it's like shitloads, which it isn't shitloads. So I'll get on with it. It's all a mixture from charity shop and car boot sales. I've done four car boot sales this week. And I've probably been to about three or four charity shops. But I, am, I don't buy that much anymore. So totally wrong time of year for this. But I've bought a military style coat. This was from the 99p shop. So it's like one of them shops, when you go into it, you feel like you've got to buy some it, even if you don't want to. Um, I have bought quite a bit of, well, no, not a bit of clothing. I bought this amazing, I bought this on, when did I buy this? Thursday. It's an amazing, hang on a minute, shift it out of way. Full circle skirt, but it's like a size 26, and it's, it's not new. It is vintage, but it's handmade. It's got the netting underneath, but like the half netting. And this was two whole pounds. Hi, Susan. I just thought that because it's a plus size, it's between a 24 and 26. I think it's been a 26 and somebody's taken it in. Um, so it's like... A 25 if there is such a thing can you hear me from here because I know when I used to use my laptop before the microphone were a bit shite so let me know if it's crap um, also what I should do on a Monday but what I'll probably do afterwards is I should write down everything that I've bought as I'm going through it because I keep forgetting to do it once I've got a big pile together over there, then I will write it all down. I got this on Sunday. I got about quite a lot off this guy. It's a knitted vintage, you know, back belt jacket by Ceremod, 100% wool. Is it wishy washy? Hi, 12 people. Um, yeah, bought quite a few bits off this guy. I think his mother had died. This was three for a pound, so I got that one. And then I thought, well, there wasn't really much else I wanted. But I thought, I'll just get some like little twin sets. Well, not twin sets because the other bits out there. But the little jumpers that are under the twin sets. Not the 80s ones. So I got that, that, and this one for... A pound. A whole pound. What do we think? Um, what else did I get off that same guy? Oh, I got this. A double candle wick bedspread. It's just one of the um it's one of the plainer ones, not the one with the floral on. But it's in a lovely mint green and it's the valance type ones, you know, the ones that have got the side bits as well. Um, he had it was marked up at four pound, and as soon as I walked up to it, I didn't even hardly look at it. He went, You can have it for two if you want. I'm like, well, that's a funny selling technique, but yeah, I'll have it for two. Um, 
and from the same guy again, I got this Astraca lamb's wool. Um, oh, it looks really wishy-washy. Let me just shut this curtain. Now we're in pitch black. But actually, it's a bit better. Is that better, colour-wise? No. We'll get there in the end. Yeah, I got this lovely Astraca um, coat, and it's a shorter one than normal. For everything's so sweaty, what I've bought. For a fiver off that same guy. And I did get a pair of shoes as well, I think. Did I? Oh, no, that was somebody else. What else is about him? Oh, I bought two handbags, which I have no idea where they are. Um. I'm not sure if I've done right or wrong with this. What do you love, Sam? God, I'm sweating. Sweating cobs. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought, don't know if I've done right or wrong with this. I bought this after watching a few resellers who have bought these, and it were a fiver. It's, it, has, it is boxed, but it's filthy. It needs a good wash, and I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know how much they go for, but I think they do all right. I'm going to have to move my fringe this way, because, oh, I need air to my forehead. So, yeah, I'm not sure how much they go for, but I did see a stall, about three or four stalls up. Hi, Lainey. Um, They had one on, and it didn't have its box. And they were asking 25. So I took great pleasure in telling them that I just bought one in a box for a fiver. Got this, which I love. That that little penguin needs to come off because somebody stuck that on. But this is a, a Marion, I think it is, isn't it? Oh, no. No idea. I'll have to look it up. Oh, that's a rat. Arians. Oh God, that's weird. I don't know if you can see that. The signature, the first letter is an it's an actual rat. So I'll have to look look into this, but I have seen these before, and I think they they are quite well known, whoever the artist is. But that was two pound. Uh, I bought some else off her as well. Oh yeah, I bought this mirror. I'll try and show you, but it will Yeah. Oh, it's all right, so we'll show you. Bought this massive 70s mirror off the same lady as the picture for £2.50. 40 and 60 I sort of had a look, and I couldn't find that exact one because uh, it's not like the one that you get off Ideal World or QVC or whatever. But everything that they sell on there seems to do all right. Look at that. I've got a big, massive spot there. Lovely. Yeah. So I bought the... I, like, I think the mirror is probably one of my best buys. 250 I'll probably get about 45 50 for that. Saying that, if Sarah's right about that mass... And mass... Massager, I might do all right. This is the first time I've picked one of these up, and I have seen them every single week at Carbo. But I watched George's video a few weeks back, and I, it just stuck in my head. <laughs> so, yes, I bought a prestige pressure cooker with its doofer, and that was a whole pound. <laughs> um. I've not got that much. And do you know what? I was talking to somebody the other day, and now I think I'm going to change, try and change my mindset a little bit. Because I go around on a Sunday, I usually do at least three car boots. But really, I could go around one, round and round and round again, and probably get the same amount instead of, you know, trekking here, there, and everywhere. I'm definitely missing out on loads because I do. I have trained my brain to scan stalls and I'm definitely missing out. So I might try 
maybe not this week because I've got um, Emma, she sells seashells coming up this weekend. So it might not this week, but maybe next week after, I'm going to try and just pick one car boot and go around it two or three times and see what I get. Um, I picked this up. I picked it up for myself, but I think I might sell it because it's a bit big. I wanted it for my makeup, but it's absolutely huge. <laughs> this is how big it is. I could do mask reseller. Um, yeah, I picked this up from charity shop, £3. Your mum had a pressure cooker. Yeah, I think my mum did, but I don't even know how to use her. Um, and I should be able to get 20 back on that. Oops, just breaking everything. Does anyone remember these? Because I met another reseller um, at a charity shop in Doncaster on, what date was it? She's called Kate. She's on Instagram. Um, I can't remember what date it was. Friday? I want to say Friday. I want to say Friday, yeah. A, a place in Doncaster. And outside there, the big tub, everything was 10 pence. You know, we're just, we're, as Ed's were in the tub. I wasn't even looking up. I wasn't even <laughs> noticing who she was. But yeah, there, I bought these. I wish they had more, but they were only 10 pence each. It'd be nice if they had like a full set. I don't know how many there is in a full set. Is it? 12. I think it's 12. But I used to have these at school. They're not first editions, the second editions. So, but the 10p each, I might even keep them for Taylor. Um, I've not looked up how much they go for either. Probably not a lot. But in the same bin was a massive pair of pink velvet curtains. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> No, I haven't got the sea. I've got um, hay fever. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Sarah, I did go to school. Not for long, but I did go to school. Um, yeah, so in the same bin, so they were 10 pence. In fact, was it per curtain? No, it was 10 pence for the pair of curtains. 10 pence. So I'm looking at at least... <laughs> I'm going to put 49.99 on them curtains. Puddle in that used to be on the telly at dinner time. I don't know. No, I think you're thinking of, I don't know, there was a little theme tune, wasn't there called Puddle Lane? Don't know, can't remember. Can't remember. I bought this little book and I have actually got this book myself. Um, It was... 50p, I think, on it today. 50p, yeah. Um, but I'm actually going to give it to Emma when she comes at the weekend because I think she'll enjoy that. It's basically like a how to be a vintage dealer book. Um, and I also picked this up today in Selby. And I know I don't, I don't like doing mugs, but I just thought it's Grinch. Oh, what's going on here? It's Grinch. And it was 175 and it is. 2006 Dr. Seuss Enterprises, Universal Islands of Adventure. So it's official. Uh, I think I'm only going to pick mugs up if the like embellished, you know, like that's not the plain ones. Somebody keeps messaging me and it's driving me nuts. Um, also today... I picked up a load of Beryl Woods wear. You see that? It's this. They do it in lemon, blue and sage green. And I have it in the kitchen. So I've got loads of sandwich plates in the kitchen. And I've got dinner plates in the kitchen. But it's a set of three sandwich plates, three tea saucers. And hang on a minute. three cups and as you can see it was a whole pound see I'm uh, retaining the pound girl name today 
but I'm going to sell it. That's not going to go in my collection. Um, what would I get for three? I'll probably get 20, 25 maybe. Did he have a wizard character with a long goatee beard? Oh, you're thinking of that windmill thing. Are you thinking of the thing with the windmill? I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking of, Lena. Um, I got another one of, where the hell's the lid? There is a lid to this. This is a bonbon jar. I seem to do all right with these. Seem to get about 25 for these. It's not the biggest size. There is a lid somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, and I bought that for, what was it? Pound. I think it were a pound on car boot. Oh, I love this. Hi, Christine. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I had one of these when I was growing up. It's a little lamp. Mine went a school. I think mine were a church or a house. Mine was a house with little mices in. Mices, mices, mice. What do you say? Mises, Mises, Mice. Anyway, yeah, so I picked this up for, what, how much was this? £2. Yeah, it was £2. I got this on Thursday. Car boot on Thursday for £2. It hasn't got its plug on the end, but she did give me a plug with it, so. And it were a lovely couple of ladies. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to ask for it. Got this at the charity shop. It is a bison, and it is, what the hell is this? Blue Mountain, isn't it? Blue Mountain pottery. Canadian, isn't it? I think. I don't know. Jason, is it? <laughs> and this was £4. I think that's the most expensive thing I've bought. Oh, no, the coat's the most expensive thing I've bought. Um, I just liked it because it was a bull. I think it'll... It's got to do about 20 at least, hasn't it? I know I'm flying through it, but I'm absolutely boiling. Oh, off the old lady stall, I got out to buy this. It was only 10 pence. But it's a Kathy Winkle plate, and I do sell these singular. Um, I'm not sure how much. It's about 8 quid, I think it is singular, that. But for 10p. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking buying this. I don't know why. Why did I buy this? Jason, anybody? Why did I buy this? This was the first thing I bought on Thursday. I think it was out of desperation. But actually, it is old and it's, it is made in Italy. It's stamped Italian. No, it's stamped Italy 11. So it has, it has got some age to it. Mmm. Anyway, I think it will go. And I'm toying with the idea of opening an Etsy. I did do Etsy years ago, but I get bored with it because it's so slow compared to eBay. But I'm thinking about putting all my shit stuff, <laughs> all my, like, what I call, like, tweedy vintage. So this would be, to me, this is tweedy vintage. It's not... It's not stylish vintage, it's country-fied vintage, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I'm thinking about putting stuff like that in to my Etsy shop. Or all the other stuff that comes in the box lots at the um, auctions. When I start going to auctions. Oh, I forgot I bought this. Yeah, I bought this on. Oh, it's got a chip in it. Lovely. Didn't see that. It's got a chip in it. But it is German, and it was a hill 50 pence. Yeah, it is German. Have I just done that chip? No, because it would be in this bag. Yeah, so even with a chip. Oh, yeah, my buttons, Sarah. I forgot about my buttons. So I haven't done all with them bloody buttons. I've got a giant box full of buttons. I can't be asked to get through it. 
I'll pay you. You can come up here, Sarah, and do it. Uh, I don't know why I bought this. I just liked it. It's got no age to it whatsoever. But it's like a little mailbox. It's like a... It is a mailbox. Um, it's literally got no age to it. I'm trying to think. It doesn't say any date on it. But you can just tell by that it's got no age to it. Um, but I've never seen them in this country. So somebody must have brought it back off holiday with them. I'll have to look it up, but it was a pound. Oh, no, it won't. It was 50p. It was 50p. Bargain. There's the lid to the um, bonbon jar. How's everybody's uh, sales? Anyway, mine seemed to have died death in the last four days. I had a cracking start to the month, and then last three or four days, it's just gone. <laughs> not too bad today. But not great. But I haven't been listing either. I'm busy doing stuff like this. Yeah, that's with, with its lid. Um, what's in this bag? No idea. Oh, this is a lot of shit that I bought. Don't know why I bought these. Some lovely, sparkly, tacky belts. I'm going to sell them as a pair, actually. Oh, hang on, I can't get it fastened. Uh, oh, do you know? I don't think they're old. They're just retro. There we are. There we are. So there's a stretchy red sparkly one and a stretchy black sparkly one. Slightly this one fastening. Um, they were... Everything was 50p each on this guy's stall, but he let me have them. This pair of vintage shoes and does anyone remember these? Oh, I wish I could show you properly. These little plastic, doo -doo -doo. there you go, dog, cat. Whatever the hell that is. Mouse, is it? Elephant. Um, deer. I keep thinking its nose is broken, but it's not. And a swan. They're not glass. They're not the glass ones. They're the plastic ones. You've been quiet as well. Rubbish, Sam. Um, I don't know what's happened. It, it dipped a little bit before that managed payments thing. I did notice, like everyone has noticed, it did dip a little bit just before the managed payment things. Then it came back and then it died a death. And I do think there is something to do with visibility. When they're doing something in the background to your account, it definitely affects your visibility. And I don't care what anyone says, um, they definitely turn it on and off. So, yeah, the guy gave me the two belts, the shoes, and all them. How many is them? One, two, three, four, six of them for two quid. Because he loves me. Because I bought off him every week. <laughs> um, right, that's everything at that side. So, I'm going to have to speed this up. I bought this on Sunday. I've had one of these before. It's a wall thing for your records while hanging i think i got 35 for my last one and this one was 50p 50p i got something else off her as well i showed you that dress because that was from last week um that's what's that that's a load of clothes in the front oh my god i've got a bag full oh my god i've got loads I've got loads to go. Don't be going and having your tea. Um, yeah, the guy that was selling all his mother's stuff. Have you not switched over yet, Jason? <laughs> My friend Sarah, she lives in Whitby. No one's at home to buy anything. They're all in Whitby. Yeah, there will be. I, I 
I can't wait for it to rain because I think that will spark sales again. Yeah, the guy whose mother died, I got this vintage bag off him for 50 pence. And this vintage bag, which I've just noticed has got a mark on, but it's underneath. Also, for 50p. It's got a mark, but it's underneath, it's fine. Uh, I also got this on Sunday. <clears throat> it is the older bamboo. You know, you'll know what I mean, Jason. So it's the blackened bamboo, which a lot of people put 1920s, 1940s, but in reality, it could be 70s. But it's got a nice marketry top to it, which I thought were a bit different. Um, so I'm going to sell that as a little side table um storage for your books magazines plants loads of ways of selling that but it was three quid probably get about 35 40 for that and it's postable i'm flogging this because i've had it ages and i've just realized that putting it in dishwasher wasn't a good idea it's an egg stacker from the 70s i've had it years I bought it off another seller. Sorry, my nose is itching. It's the same every time I undo all this crap and my nose starts itching. But I noticed today, you know, when the plastic goes all like, it's like cracks, but it's not cracks. Let's see if I can show you. Cat. Mm, you can sort of see there. Like inside the plastic's cracked. Um, That's we're putting it in dishwasher. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Because I don't use it. Uh, this was 50p on the car boot and it's in really good condition it's not leather or is it leather no it's not leather chamel chamel by sl made in england it's a beaut do you know what i've stopped selling kelly bags they've slowed right off um i got this from my friend's house clearance place it was the only thing i bought of her i just liked it i think it's vintage but i'm not sure actually made in england by james pascal mitchum surrey anyone know oh what's that lighting doing there i just thought it was nice with the harlequins around the outside and it was two whole pounds hi Kirsten uh, um, oh yeah I forgot I bought that I bought this for 50p and thought oh wow amazing and then realized it's totally not vintage because it's got asda tag on it this is how caught out you can get. To be fair, I would have known it in vintage because it's got cardboard on back. But if that were a bit grubby, you would have totally got caught out with that. But still, I'm going to sell it as retro. And I reckon I'll, I reckon I'll still get 15, 20 quid for it. And that was 50p. God, I'm so warm. Do you think that tin's old, um, Kirsten? I were, it's in good nick. I were a bit like, mm, is it old or not? I think it is. I think it is. You can tell by these, by the faces. You wouldn't have faces like that. You wouldn't have stylized drawings like that on a tin nowadays. Um, I'll have to look this uh, James Pascal up. Uh, I got something which I've not got in ages. I got, and I was, what, two hours after opening time to this guy, a Hornsey mug, a Hornsey July mug. Um, I've not looked at recent prices, but I think they go for about 15. And that was 50p. Bargain. I've not seen one in donkeys. I used to pick them up every week. Oh, I've squashed this. Got a tape um, holder. Tape carry case. 
Uh, she said two pound, and I went, put it down, and she went, well, a pound then. And I went, well, I'll give 50p. And she went, oh, all right then. <laughs> I'm going to have to video myself at car boot. But I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about getting a GoPro and video myself at car boot. But the thing is, you have your GoPro here on your strap or on your coat or whatever. And I'm pushing pram. So it's not like, you know, when people go to a stall and look on the on the stall, I won't be doing that because I'm always pushing pram. So I'm only like, I'm like that. So all you can see is my arm. Hi, Michael. Hey, I thought you weren't talking to me anyway. I got this uh, vintage tartan hat box. Oh, has it got something in it? Oh, it's that gel stuff. Poof, stinks. That were a whole pound. Is it your birthday month, Jason? July. Oh, did you? How much did you get for it? Do you know what? I've never even seen one of them. How do you pronounce it? May John. May gone. May my John. Don't know. Anyway. Um, nearly done. Are we? Yeah, nearly done. I bought this lovely vintage planter. Probably, I was thinking for a bonsai, because it's square, but it is actually an old one. It is marked at, I can't even read it, Wardle, England, and it's got a reg number. I think that's pretty decent. And that were a pound. God, I've got a right pile of shite at the side of me. Um, and then, oh, broken one. Do you know this does happen every so often? Oh, that looks thick. <laughs> <laughs> I've just smashed that. Smashed the glass. Oh, damn. Oh, well, that's just got a plain one in. So what I might do is I might get a set of plain glasses because I've got four. But obviously one's smashed. Unless anyone has any small tumblers patterned, not bothered what pattern they are, and they've got four matching, I'll buy them off you. Because they were pound, I think, for all what. Damn it. I'll have to put that in there because Taylor will find it. Oh, I also bought, in fact, no, it were a pound for all them. And I got that July cup off him and these. So, and these were 50p and that was 50p. Yeah, I spent two quid with them. So, I don't know why I bought two cups. I keep, oh, I don't know why I'm buying shit like that because that is just shit, isn't it? That's not going to even make me a fiver. And now with this managed payments thing, um, in it, if you sell it under a tenner, it's not worth it anymore. Look at my spot. <sighs> I'm just catching on with shit. 65 quid, Kirsten. I have to keep my eye out. I'll have to have a look on your Insta. Um, and I got these at the Oxfam. I didn't realise I got four. I always can sell planters. Ugly. But that is a German planter. It was 150. Another German. Oh, no, it's a made in England one. That was 150. Another brown. Another nice one. That is actually signed. Pat K. Studio Pottery. That was 150. And this one was 20 pence. And I have actually had that before, but I might actually keep it because it's got a chip in it. But, and I always have the chipped ones in my house. Or I might swap the chipped one for a nice one. So I'll sell a nice one and I'll keep the chipped one. Does everyone else do that? Not keep nice stuff for the self. They have all shit. 
so your house is full of shite and this was my favorite buy of the day of the week should i say this is the last thing that i got hi kelly you'll have to watch back because i'm nearly finished um and this is an italian ff so i'm going to remember this one day Frate, frate, la, la, la. Anyway, look up FF Italian and try and pronounce it. <laughs> Frasatini, Frasatelli, or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's one of these. <laughs> um, and I do collect this, but I'm going to sell this because I, I don't have any use for a lamp. And the lamp base has seemed to go for about 40 ish, and this was a whole pound. One whole pound and it works. So, I'm trying to think what I've spent. I should have totted it up while I was doing it, shouldn't I? Let's see if I can tot it up. One fifty. No, two quid for all that shit off that guy. A quid for that lamp. So that's three quid. Four quid. Six quid. I won't put the pen stuff in. Nine quid, ten fifty. See now, now, Sarah, you can tell I've gone to school. Ten fifty, fourteen fifty. What was that? Was that fifty p? Yeah, fifteen quid. That was two quid. So 17 quid, 17 quid, that jug was 50p, 17.50, that's 175, but I'm going to call it 150 for these purposes. So it's 19 quid, that was 50p, so that's 19.50, 2 quid on that, 21.50. A quid for the Beryl Woods set. What have I said? Nineteen fifty. Twenty pound fifty. Fifty p for that. So twenty two. Uh, twenty one. Twenty one. That book was fifty p. So twenty one fifty. Twenty one fifty. Pound for that. So that was that's twenty two fifty. You're all probably thinking, we know how to add up. 23 quid. Bear in mind, this is all week. 23, oh, that, that was 50p, wasn't it? 23.50. 23.50. 24.50. God, I'm tight. 25 quid. 25 quid. Um, all that crap off that guy. What did he charge me? Two quid. 27 quid. 27 quid. With 10 pence curtains, with 10 pence books. So that's 10, 20, 30. 40, 50 with that. What did I get to? 27. So it's 27, 50. 27, 50. Oh, that big basket, thirty fifty. The table, thirty three fifty. The pan, thirty four fifty. Oh, the picture, thirty six fifty. The massager thing. Forty one fifty, the mirror, what did I get for that for two quid? Um what am I saying? Forty one fifty. Forty three fifty. Have I gone off on the tangent now? Forty three fifty, that quilt thing. Forty five fifty. Them clothes, forty six fifty, that skirt, forty seven, forty eight fifty, and the coat, forty nine fifty. So fifty three fifty is my total spend 
for the week. This one at one car boot, Kirsten. This one, four car boots and a couple of charity shop runs this week. Um, I just feel like I can't find stuff. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel like I can't buy anything anymore. As if I've only spent 50 odd quid all week. I swear to God, I've got more than that out of the bank. <laughs> Oh, who's a tight ass? Yeah, I, do, I did get a lot for the money, but this is the thing, right? Because I've got that tight mindset, it's getting harder and harder because I've had that same mindset of buying for the last nine years. And obviously, in nine years, things have changed and I need to move with the times. Um, I can't be pound girl forever. Uh, yeah, I might have to change it to tenor lady. <laughs> um, I do pay up if I see some like I pay the fiver for that massager and the fiver for a coat, but I can't, I'm not finding out. I don't know how everyone else is finding it. Your car boot was meh, yeah, and there's just no exciting. I can't think of anything I've bought that I thought oh wow actually I've bought a big hessian picture as well for two quid I wonder if I can turn around and show you hang on that I bought that for two quid I forgot that were on Thursday but I did I have sold the other two I had two but they were fallen you know the fallen um, prints I've got another fallen print that I got other week, but that's well ever. But yeah, I've sold the other two now for, I sold one for 60 and I sold one for 50 last week off eBay. And I've just bought that for two quid, so I'm hoping to get 50, 60 quid for that. Hi, South London reseller. What is your name? I probably know it and I've probably forgot it. You've been struggling, I'm saying the same. Yeah, there's just no... Amazing. Yeah, but Kelly, you'll find gold every week. <laughs> gold and silver every week. I don't even look. I scan. This is why I want to start going to car boots with other people. Just to see... Not to see how they do it, because obviously... You can't change how you do it, really. But it, it just to steer you a little bit in a different direction. Because I don't know if you're like me, Kelly. When you go to car boot, you are on the lookout for certain stuff. Like I go, I'm always looking out for curtains, mirrors, um, big pictures, big, just bigger stuff. Not found gold for a couple of weeks. Oh, boo-hoo. Two weeks without gold. <laughs> Damn it. I've never found gold, but I've never looked for it. So I don't even touch jewellery anymore. I don't even look at the costume jewellery anymore. I've totally got off it. Totally. Yeah, I'm going to change my name to Tenor Lady. Yeah, Sam. Car boot round here, what biggest I've ever seen it. And do you know what? I'm really annoyed with myself because the best car boot that we have here is at York Race Course. And they only have it like so many times a year they have it every week but they have if they've got race meets on which i don't know if they're doing at minute um they don't have it and obviously it's hit and miss because with weather but it started on saturday and i knew it started on saturday and i totally forgot about it and if i'd have gone to that one car boot i would have probably bought three times as much as what i've bought now yeah they probably spent double but so what and i wasn't about to go out sunday I think I'm absolute, um I think you do well at mine. We have similar tastes, but I don't touch the big stuff. Yeah, I know, we do have similar tastes. I think our brains work the same, apart from the jewellery thing. I think our, every time you do a little haul video, I always think, yeah, I'd have bought all that. Saying that, though, I probably wouldn't have looked at that doll, you know. I've been nosy and I've had a look at AIDS for 500 quid. <laughs> 
You've got 130 for two chains found in a two pack. Mm. Are you on the jewellery thing then? I think the costume, I think, I don't know. I don't want to be negative, but I think there's a lot of people doing it at a minute. But I suppose if you're finding two gold chains, <laughs> then happy days. I ain't got time to look through. I ain't got time to sort stuff, really. I mean, realistically, I should be wrapping now. I'm well behind when we're wrapping. Um, like I say, I've got Emma. She sells resells. Is coming staying at mine on Friday. And then she's staying in a hotel for the weekend. And I've got a full weekend of sourcing. But that means I won't be able to do any listing or any wrapping. So I need to really get ahead. And... I'm not, but saying that, it's been dead. Like I said, it's been dead for four days. I've had a couple of no sales days and then a couple of dead days. And then today's, meh, all right, not the best. No space for anything else. What, no space for clothes or anything? Are you not doing clothes anymore, Sam? You're just doing jewellery? I never look at toys. And everybody said to me, when you have Taylor, you'll start looking at toys. I don't, I don't look at toys. And that's because I think a lot of people look, a lot of people go to toys when they've got children themselves and they've bought retail for the kids and they know how much they are. But I've never bought retail for Taylor. I've bought like two things for a full retail. I only buy second hand. So I just think, what's the point? She just plays with it for five seconds. Exactly. I know. I probably would have picked it up. It was 50p, but I wouldn't have paid a fiver for it, um, Kelly. Your Etsy shop's died a death. I know I've just been saying earlier on in this uh, video, I'm thinking about doing an Etsy shop for what I call my um, tweed vintage. So like shit like this, you know. You know, like the old style vintage stuff, not the mo not the stylish vintage stuff, as I call it. Because in Etsy, mainly an American market, it used to be when I used to do it. And the Americans, what, what they buy, the vintage that they buy, yeah, there is a mid-century scene, but the vintage that they buy is what I would probably tip. <laughs> no disrespect. To any Americans out there, it's just a style thing, and it? it's just a, it's just what we see. It's a different thing. It's just different what they buy, and I think God, and they sell salt and pepper pots that have got like roses on and stuff, and I, I won't even look at them twice. But but they do sell, don't they? The glass collection. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to last with Taylor. To be fair, she can't. Um, she can't reach that far yet, but she started pulling this plant down. Which one? This one? No, this one. This one. She started pulling leaves off it. Um. So it used to be mainly American, but now 70% of the sales are UK. Really? It's interesting. I don't know. It's time again. I'm going to see what happens when Taylor goes to nursery, because she's starting nursery two days a week in September. So I'm going to see when she starts nursery how much actual time I've got because like everyone knows at the minute I am working 24-7 so when she goes to bed I'm doing this or wrapping and listing till my bedtime. But the idea of sending this to nursery so I don't have to do that every night and I have some nights off but I might concentrate one day on Etsy. But I've done this before and what I, I ended up doing is I ended up forgetting that I had sales because it was that slow that I never even noticed the sales coming through. Um, and I just forgot I'd even set it up. I think I only had about 40 things in it, but I did sell a few things and I, that, I got done. So I might not actually be able to open an Etsy shop. Um, Kitch Vintage. Hmm. Just naff. 
what I call naff. What I call, what, what I see people selling on Etsy is the stuff that is left over in the box lots of shit that you get from the auction. That's what I see as selling on Etsy. Like, not selling on Etsy, that's popular on Etsy, should I say. It just blows my mind what, what people buy. I mean, you do proper, like, antiques and stuff, don't you, Kirsten? What we're laughing at here? Naff. <laughs> Me naff vintage. Oh, God, I am boiling. I can't wait for this weather to piss off, honestly. I need to put um, over 18s only on my live streams because I swear. <laughs> I swear too much. Um. Yeah, so Taylor's going to be going to nursery on, what days have I said? Mondays, how is it? yeah, Mondays and, we Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays, nine till four. Um, I don't think that's a long time, me. Eh? I think I'm going to, it's going to fly by. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get as much stuff. You've got plenty of naff vintage, but it sells, doesn't it? It sells. Never throw anything away. I've got boxes and boxes of stuff downstairs. Boxes and boxes of clear glass, you know, cut glass. Can't sell it for love and money on eBay. I don't even try. I wouldn't be able to even photograph it properly. Um, so maybe maybe I'll have to look into photographing it and get in on it. So, so anyway, it's nearly been an hour. Well, it am because I farted about at first. I could not work out how to get my um, webcam on. I've not used my external webcam. I've used my internal laptop webcam. So I'm hoping it's a bit better. This is how I used to do it. But I, do you know what I've noticed? Since I've had to go to StreamYard, because I've not got a 1,000 followers, uh, subscribers, it's crap. The quality is shit, but I think it's to do with my Wi-Fi as well. But it's weird how when I used to do it, the lives on YouTube, the quality was a lot better. The StreamYard quality seems to be a bit naff. You've sold three old keys, literally the keys that you found at the bottom you know, for a tenner each. Yeah. See my friend Sarah, who is in the chat or was in the chat. She's probably died a death of boredom by now. Um, she sells stuff like that. She buys job lots of stuff. She's bought a job lot of matchboxes, old matchboxes today. She's, I call it geek stuff. That's what she buys. She buys a lot of ephemera and um, just like job lots of beer mats and job lots of matchboxes, job lots of maps and anything like that that I wouldn't even look twice at and she makes a killing out of it. It looks better than normal. See, to me, it looks naff on here. I'm really blurry. All I can see is my giant spot. Look at that bad boy. Right, so I'm going to go. You've got some postcards. Yeah, that's right up Sarah Street. load of postcards. I'm going to go because I'm going to strip off naked and do some listing in my attic. <laughs> This is why I can't do lives in the attic. Because <laughs> I've got no clothes on because it's so warm up there. I have got two uh, Velux windows, but nobody can look in. So I'm just going to go get naked. See you all later.